seen before. Well, we've seen him in concepts, but I'm gonna get to see one up close and hopefully he'll explain and let me get a look around and uh, really get a feel for it. I should buy it. This is the number, people. This is the address. Uh oh. Okay. Holy crap. This thing is nice. This one has been lived in. Uh, the dude to bring it here. Because these are the air gauges. These are power gauges that they have right on the top. And I guess that's just a normal one, but this is the, uh, wow, right USB directly to it. Of course, it's an automatic. So, I mean, uh, can you tell me some things that, um, that they improved off the, the regular Volvo? The entire interior is brand new. It's all uh -huh. redesigned with the driver in mind. Um, so the old interiors used to also be brown. Uh, these are now more of a gray tone. Mm -hmm. um, so you're sitting on the new air ride seat. Oh, I can't even get out of this thing. Wow. This one has to be heated and cooled, oh. which is an option. Really? Uh -huh. The steering wheel has been redesigned. It's now a position perfect steering wheel. So not only do you go up and down so telescope, you've also got the neck will actually move just oh, a little bit. Oh, like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> the dash cluster has all been redesigned. Um, it used to be just brown and white undertones. If you put that to the run position, you'll see it's now all color display. Whoa. You've got many more um, features that used to be on buttons over here are now going to be on the on the steering wheel itself. Engine brake is still located up here. You've got uh, your intermittent wipers are now a lot easier to to work. Mm -hmm. This one also has rain sensing wipers, so they'll automatically kick on if your windshield gets wet. Really, I like a Cadillac. This one does. I mean, it is an option. It's so, an option. Um, this how you've got many more positions. Your 12 volt, two USB plugs up top. You've got uh, your Sirius XM is integrated into every radio that we we configure. Not mm -hmm. every dealer does that. You've got your touchpad here, your dash mounted eye shift mm -hmm. um, controller. It's either available up here or on the seat. Your cup holder now is also movable. So if you don't want your cup holder there and you'd rather have it over here, you can move it to wherever you want. Fits a variety of things, everything from a 20 ounce bottle to mm -hmm. a coffee cup. Also fit the bigger bottles of the uh, uh, same Gatorade or something like and that. And the seat is automatic. The seat is, no, so that's a memory, that, mm -hmm. that's an option. Uh, it's a memory uh, seat, so to remember where you are, where you are, you can configure it for the driver. It doesn't have to be quite that fancy, mm -hmm. but it can be. And these are all buttons here too. Oh, they should, um, you must pull these up. Okay. So you've got a, a way to, you can actually tilt the seat just a little bit with this one. You can also move the... You're a bigger male. Bigger male. Correct. Bigger guy. Okay. Uh, the windshield and, curtain goes all the way around, so you've got the privacy there. Your Bluetooth is built in up top, along with another 12-volt plug. Yeah, they believe in having power, don't they? Yep. Pre-wired for your CB radio mount up here. Now, this truck is configured with all the safety features that Volvo offers. Have okay. Tire pressure monitoring system built in. Mm. You've also got the active, what's called Volvo Active Driver Assist, which is your um, active braking, so mm -hmm. when it pulls in front of you and stops short, yeah. um, the truck will apply 90% of the braking power without locking up the brakes mm -hmm. to prevent or try to keep you from getting from hitting back. somebody. Correct. Wow. It also has lane departure. Mm -hmm. It also has Volvo Enhanced Cruise, which is going to keep a predetermined time gap between you and the truck in front of you. So oh, that um, isn't bad at all. Yeah. Uh, this truck is configured with disc brakes all the way around. Mm -hmm. You can do either front disc brakes, you can still do drums if you want, but this one's loaded. This one's loaded, loaded down. Loaded and it, down. what is the name of that package for your dealership? So, this is a Globetrotter package. A Globetrotter is, package. Um, standard from Volvo. I've got some coming in that are not going to be Globetrotters. They're going to have everything that comes with the Globetrotter package, mm -hmm. just without the badging on the door. It's right there by your seat. So, Ours are going to have everything else on it. Mm -hmm. uh, safety features are an option. 
disc brakes are an option. Um, so however you need it configured, we can do that. So I mean, did they change anything like, uh, depending on like the engine? Has the engine been changed Engines are the same, so it's the same uh, greenhouse gas certified 2017 engine that came out in the 2018 model year. Really? Uh, are now available as a standard package. So on these trucks, uh, this is a D13, 455 horse, mm -hmm. um, 1750 foot pounds of torque. Uh, sorry, 1850 foot pounds of torque with the new ones. Mm, okay. This is the XE package, so exceptional efficiency, here at 264 on the back end. Uh, this is for anybody that's going to run, um, you know, coast to coast, pull some rolling hills, um, cruise 68, 72 miles an hour. Um, you Did know. It come, does, does this package come with the, uh, with the refrigerator? Uh, it does, right behind the driver's seat. 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator with a freezer. Every truck that we sell comes with one. So you've got fridge, fridge and freezer there both. One of the biggest in the industry. Two locking drawers. You've got a spot up here for this is for your microwave. Mm. The 12 volt connection and also the 110 plug. Um, and then the other side is for your flat screen TV. And it comes with a mount. This comes with a mount, so it swivels. It also has the locking mechanism, so you can move it however you need it to. And then when you're done, just put it right back. Place. Correct. Okay. So this again, 12 volt connection and a 110. So the you inverter's got, built in already. You have a factory installed inverter, wow. which is an option, but most of ours come with it. Uh, this has a cab heater mm -hmm. uh, as well. So. Um, You've got plenty of hanging storage here. You've got dry storage there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, so this is a nice rig. Now, let's say I wanted to, uh, I wanted to buy this rig. Okay. And I could call you. You can call me. Okay. That makes me want to turn my Freightliner in. That's probably going to piss some of my Freightliner buddies off. But I've never heard of a Globe Trotter. Let me give you all a good emblem look here. So the Globe Trotter is. Is uh, in Europe. The Globe Trotter is the top of the line uh, as far as features, interior, exterior. It is the cream of the crop. You see a bunch of these on the FH model, which mm -hmm. is in Europe. Um, they're bringing that level of um, comfort, and uh, you know they're bringing it to the U.S. Okay. So they want to make sure this is the top of the line, you know, as far as features, interiors, exteriors. You've got your running lights here, which are now all LED. Bit lower on the frame. Woo! Same 77 inch sleeper that you had before on the 780. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, this is in a 780? This it's is a, now been renamed as the 860. 860. But it's the same 780 that you've known and loved for years. They just renamed it. They just renamed it. Wheels are the same size and everything like that. Same 50 degree wheel cut mm -hmm. uh, that you get on every Volvo. Redesigned hood. So you've got the new signature run lamps. So your running lamp is actually here, and then your headlight is embedded within it. The headlights have been moved in. It used to be your headlamp would extend over into the fender. Now they've been wrapped the fender up, so mm. in case you swipe something on the side, you're not going to crack your lens. Oh, yeah, that was the thing moved with the other one, too. Yeah. So the redesigned hood, you've got your hood that's been moved in just a little bit, almost well, wrapped around the radiator. Yeah. So I'm six foot tall. Mm -hmm. I can see the driver clear as day, and I've got it probably at 5.5, 5.6 right here, so uh -huh. lots of visibility from the driver to the ground. To the ground, so plus you got the LEDs for your marker lights up there. Lots of safety as far as that goes. LED fog lights, that kind of thing. And remember, this comes with the package, people. You, when I mean, you get the Globe Trotter package or the other one that you were talking about, is that a camera? That is going to be your lane departure. Really? So that's going to help with your lane departure sensor, and it's also going to help with your Okay, okay, okay. So, That's good. It's a front facing camera, not a rear. I'll tell you what, it is a very, very attractive truck. When I first seen it, I think last year when they first dropped the dropped it, I was like, wow, that thing is nice. And you can get if I was to call, you can get this in all different uh uh, stretches of the frame too, yeah, right? Right. So this one is a 227 inch wheelbase set up perfectly for a dry van. Mm -hmm. um, our typical 
uh, truck that we spec comes in about 237, 239, so yeah. we spec ours a little longer. Yeah. Uh, so we can handle drive ins, reefers, Ooh, uh, flat beds, step deck, RGNs, whatever you need it for. Uh, I'll uh, tell you what, it is an attractive rig. There are so many different options that you can get. You don't have to get one spec out with the blow trotter, you can do one that's a little bit more basic. Mm -hmm. Comes with uh, 250 gallons of fuel, so 150 on the driver's side, 120 or 100 on the, on the passenger side. Really? Uh, ours typically would come with 150 on either side. What is what is unique about the suspension of the Volvo? The suspension, I mean, it's an air ride system. So, okay, it's pretty um, basic. It's pretty standard. Now you can get it. Uh, the 860 is available as a six by two. This is a six by four setup. Mm -hmm. You can get it with a, as a six by two. The adaptive loading feature, yeah, which makes this axle the dead axle. Mm -hmm. and it will raise and lower as the weight on your fifth wheel changes. So really? If you run at LTL loads. If you run diminishing loads. Uh -huh. If you run out full and empty back, mm -hmm. out empty full back. And this, this will actually raise and lower based on the amount of weight that's carried. So you can save fuel. Absolutely. And wow. So that is, and you that's save nice. 340 pounds versus having it with a sand. Uh, now that is nice. I, I'm not going to lie. That, that, that's almost a not sales point. But yeah. It can be a time but if you're running van and you decide to deadhead home, you're why on you a flatbed and you run out full and you come back empty half the time? Yeah. This is what you need. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Now, now, I heard something about y'all having airbags on the front. We can get it with airbags on the front, uh -huh. uh, with the Hendrickson steer tech axle. Yeah. This actually comes now with a front stabilizer bar. For real? To keep that uh, without having to really do an 